Well, here we are. Steve Marshall, as he known in, in the circles, Steve M. Yeah, Steve M. <laughs> Steve M. What you got? The man that brought me. Yeah, you, you, that's the French thing. That's Roberta Flack. Okay. Right. There's another thing, and I said, let me, let me like try to clear some space in the house. That's a little something, something for you. you know. the, this is a what, what is this a, a Blu-ray disc? Turn it around. I don't have a Blu-ray. Well, that's all right, man. You have a disc, bro. So okay, you do I, what you knew. I, you know, I, it's my <laughs> gift to you. I see. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you this. You know. Tell me. They're, they're, I, I have children that have for, forsaken me or whatever have you. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about that? That's Roberta Flack. We want to open Prince first. Okay, let, let, in fact, let's leave, let's leave Roberta out yeah, of this. Yeah, Roberta, that's, that's a little extra something. I said, but, hey, that's one of the things that came to me and said, I didn't know what it is, but I'll take it. Then, then let me, let me, let me uh, also just say, I, I was trying to complete my thought here before you, but I have, I have what, to work I, on that. I have what we call a radio children, mm -hmm. you know, have radio children, actually have radio grandchildren, if you will, too. So you're actually one of my radio children. Yes, yes, yes. Well, and we do, we do call you the godmother, right? <laughs> no, the, no, that's the, that's for, that's what, that's, that's the midwife for. The midwife, there it is. I that's was for, but, but you that, say you want to take that off? You don't want to keep the nice thing on there, bro? No, I don't want to keep that Okay, nice well, it's on. yours, man. You do what you want to do with it. No, I don't, I don't <laughs> like these vinyl things here. So, I mean, okay, here's what I'll do. Because you're advising me, because you know you have to listen to your children. <laughs> because could you, you can get it out that way. You can just like. Yeah. Oh, hey, I see you what you're see? saying. Yeah. Oh, oh Lord. That's what I said. Okay, a friend yeah. of mine got when he was like, "Did I order the vinyl?" I said, "When you open it, you're gonna see." Jeez. I know. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, so what I was trying to say is that, you know, and then then, see so your, see so your two, see so your the, the the genie thing with the with the with the uh, liquid salons. That's midwife. Mm -hmm. But you're directly a child from the from girls the boys, the boys and the big group. So that's that's where that comes. From. And what you're opening now okay, is the first official release, the first official release that contains the song that we got our name from, uh, which is called "Roberta the Flesh." Roberta the Flesh. Okay. Now, okay. I guess this is the front. I like I like the the back is nice. Yeah, yeah. Some people are like you know. It's like you know. It's like uh, well, I guess you almost say it's the black album. You know what I mean? Or or, or, or it's or, funny. I, do they even mention that in there? Or, or I like to say it's. <laughs> there is black. It's real black. It's blackity black, 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 black. black. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's interesting that you would say that, because when you look at the whole story behind the black album, them saying oh. Mm -hmm. You're not making quote unquote black music because they limited what black what black music is. Okay. And black music okay, like you're gonna talk about Donnie Hathaway extension of a man, or Rita Franklin, or Marvin or Stevie talking about being multi musical the way some people are multilingual. Or even Michael or even Michael. Michael. Or Anybody that stretches and Miles Davis said you gotta stretch. So Prince was always stretching, right? So this album I contend is his blackest album. Yes. Because he's stretching. Yes. And if you listen to the black album, it's cool, it's legendary. But he's staying in the pocket. It, there you go. He's staying in the pocket. There you go. But, but he this, said, look, you know, just like when they asked him when after Around the World Today came out, they said, oh, we're, people are wondering where your funk roots and how you leave your funk roots. He said, I never left my funk roots. He said, Around the World Today is a very funky album. Live, it's even funkier. You know what I'm saying? So, And that's one of the reasons why he pulled back from putting the black album out because in many ways he felt well, I got tricked. This is a very black album. Well, the thing is also, I think with the black album, remember you have your so-called fans, right. but then you have, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say so-called fans. You have your fans, your, mm -hmm. your, or like I say, your appreciators, your core people, right? Then you have these other people, these tangential people <laughs> that want you to do what they want you to do. Classic example, as you know what I'm going to say right now, Sly and the Family Stone. Mm -hmm. Now, he's from the Bay Area up there, you know, Vallejo and all that mm -hmm. stuff. He was up there, the Panthers. Man, you got to be black. What they, you they, what they, you doing for the people? They did so, tell him that. And that's when he came out with with, with, with that album. You know, Stan? With, not Stan. No, Stan was before. No, 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 no. With, um, uh, thank there's you a for, riot going on. The, yes, there's a riot right, going on. Right, that right. was his response to them. Now, Prince... I guess with the black album was response, but he pulled it back. Pulled it back he said, right. why am I going to respond to these idiots? Right. They're not musicians. Right. They don't know what my journey is. Exactly. They don't know what's going on. Exactly. 
Exactly. These are just, you know, th these are like these people that just re re with, with this ice cube thing. You know, you, especially the one I'm, I'm not upset with any of them because they don't know. Mm -hmm. They have no idea what they're talking about. You know, especially I saw the one, some women, some 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 panel, I think it was, I didn't even see the whole thing. This was this Fox panel. Well, what about the women? He says, well, it says black people. No, what about people? We have special issue, issues. So they're going to try to push him to change his thing mm -hmm. according to their thing. My thing is like, put your thing out. Mm -hmm. See who we're going to embrace. My thing is, no, don't put your thing out. If you're really family, then you better stand your stand your butt down. This is a this is a black issue. This is a black fam. That's mm -hmm. why I love to say fam these days. I don't say fam, but I love it. This is a black family issue. Who's the head of the black family? I don't care what you say. We're talking. You know, no, this is an outside issue. If we're not, if we're inside the house, that's when that's when you're dealing with you. You control every. You control the marketplace. But as far as we have we have we have here doing battle, you need to shut up. And stop listening to these white people. Stop taking their values mm -hmm. and trying to say you 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 the warrior woman. You know mm -hmm. you you are going to be the Wakanda women or whatever the heck it is. That's not how it goes. That's not how it goes. So you know I'm pissed off at that. Anyway, let's go to some more some more pleasant things. You know what I you know what I really appreciate about this this kind of blue that's here. This right. turquoise. This, right. I don't need this turquoise blue. Whatever it is, it's really teal. It, Teal, I'm sorry. And let me be very teal. clear to you. I didn't know what the hell, I heard Teal, but I couldn't tell you what Teal was. I but I've been know. reading a lot about this album, and it says Teal, so that's part of my cultural education. Mm. It's Teal. Yeah. <laughs> now ask me what Teal is next month. I'll be like, what? <laughs> uh, I, 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 I actually knew that because uh, because I'm in theater. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like Ray color. Charles. Ray Charles said, look, I could see until I was seven. I knew basic colors. Now they talking about chartreuse, and I don't know what the hell that is. I said, Ray, I hear you. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing, I guess, but this is how it's okay. So this is what it says. Let me take my glasses off so I can actually see. You put them on so you can look cool. That's what George Clinton <laughs> said. Yeah, but I'm not on camera, so it don't matter. <laughs> uh, the most unique tapestry. Uh, Lenny Kravitz says the four, the forward. forward. Right. Now, does he say it uh, uh, with music, or is, or is he writing it? He's he's um he's actually just doing the intro in terms of uh, the written intro. Written, okay, because there was this 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 interview I had uh, somebody was interviewed with Sam Cooke back in the day, mm -hmm. and the guy was the, was one of the best questions I ever heard. He said, "Oh, sorry, hey, sorry, doggy." <laughs> he said, "Let me." He says, uh, "Said Sam, can you, can you?" Uh, define soul in, a, in, a, in, a, in two bars or so. And he sang with soul. <laughs> Very short. I said, this is so brutal. It's one of those, I have to say, I have to do it this way. This is one of those Anthony questions. Mm. You know what I mean? This, anyway, so okay. Um, then it has uh, the last the last sane man on earth. Oh, the conversation with David Chappelle. No, we said the conversation with David Chappelle. So who's, who's talking with him? There's an artist now the name of Matthew Baton, and he worked with Prince on artwork, and he worked. He, he was one of the people that kind of worked with Prince. He okay. knew Prince. So. so these are all on DVDs or something like that? Or no, that's DVDs? written. You're going to open that up. Okay. The, the thing that's on, the, the, you're going to get to it. The, the music is on CDs on this package. Well, let's, and, wait, let's wait till you get there. Okay. Hold on a second. Uh, Everybody Still Wants to Fly, which is uh, was an essay. Yeah, everything you're reading right now is okay. an essay. Oh, that's uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's that. Oh, that that Daphne Brooks is a is a teacher. She's going through the philosophy. I didn't, to be honest with you, I haven't even gotten to that part yet. Okay. All right. Who knows knows about the quick and that we do. Okay, we yeah, know that yeah. Uh, that's also, I guess, that's also that's an essay. essay. Andrew Swenson works out of a public radio station in Minneapolis Good. called The Current. And she has become like a scholar on Prince. Okay. Since he, I mean, since even before he passed, and she got some good line of notes, talk to people that work with him, that old type of thing. Uh, the images, that's his photo. Pictures, yeah. Okay. Tonight, we're going to lose our sorrow. Tonight, we're going to have some fun. Susan Rogers was his main engineer yeah, yeah, from 1983 to 1987. Now she's a doctor of music at the Berklee College of Music, Ooh, the music theory and that. So yeah, she does her thing. It's interesting because you know, again, you know my philosophy as far as when I when we do audio drama, I don't do. Not, if we're not having no fun, what? Do we, who? Huh? Do we, why? Why, why we do here? it? 
And my thing is, if you don't come in here with some serious thing, some you know, you're gonna, right. you know, you're gonna start the revolution, or whatever. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. What's that, Emma, Emma Goldman, whoever the person, what they say? Hey, if you if you if you can't dance, I ain't gonna be part of your revolution, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't have a revolution with dance. You know. I mean, you take your craft seriously. That's because, like, okay, Shaka Khan. So they do Shaka Khan. And one of the best things she said, they said they have this thing versus, but sometimes they might pit Pat LaBelle against um, Gladys Knight. Yeah. And Shaka was like, to me, that's trivializing the music. Mm. He says, I take my, she said, I take my shit seriously. Mm. Right? And you do, you take it seriously, but at the same time, you do what you love. You, it's what you love to do. Mm. Now, Prince is like, why would I not release albums? All I'm going to do is just fill up the vault, and he sure as hell fill up the vault. Mm. You know, I want to, you know, because somebody is saying Bobby Z said he might have, Prince might have like 20,000 uh, pieces of music in his vault. Mm. It's thousands of music in his, it's a lot. Again, you, a lot of times, I know this sounds strange, like, mm -hmm. almost like I'm trying to be egotistical or something, but I'm always trying to bring this back to myself, not for anything, uh, uh, to put it in another perspective. I do my YouTube channel for archival purposes. I'm mm -hmm. not looking for a lot of uh, clicks, likes, or whatever mm -hmm. it is. I'm doing it for history. I'm talking to you now because this is out. This is two Prince people mm -hmm. who know from from a long from long from, from, from the beginning of the '80s, uh, really explaining this. Now, 300 years from now, somebody's gonna look up Susan Rogers. They're gonna do all the scholarship. Yeah. But what's the real people saying about them? Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? What is what is this experience like? That's that's why this right. whole internet, the whole unboxing is very good. I like this. It I is. Mean. In fact, to be honest with you, before I received this or my copy, I was very eager to see what the unboxing. Let me see what it looked like and that whole thing, because this is a major, major release. There's eight CDs and a DVD that we're gonna get to that is historic. This is major. Whether it's official or unofficial release, this can go down as one of the greatest Prince releases ever. Mm. I'm, I'm, it's like trying to drink the ocean. I'm still sipping. Mm. Some people play stuff. Oh, that's on there? I didn't get to that yet. Mm. I'm taking my time. I got you. You know what I'm saying? The lyrics. Uh, is that all the lyrics? I don't think they put all the lyrics in there. I, I, I think they might have a, 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 you like, once again, I think I got to that part. <laughs> but it's not all the lyrics. It's not all the lyrics. Because he, you know, he did put the lyrics on the vinyl. And then the, the music means what? They're going into all eight CDs, which is the album, which was remastered, and like 60-something outtakes mm. of different songs on there. That There's you, one person on, just on YouTube that has the, some soundboard stuff that's really always interesting to me. Yeah, they got a bunch of people. Well, I think we might have. Actually, whatever. But to go, it's a, is it, is this eight CDs and the DVD, the New Year's Eve show. This is like uh, Lenny Kravitz's intro. Okay. Motion to tap Jesse. So pictures like that. Okay. Lenny, you know, you know, I was at the show um, the, that on 14th Street where we had uh, with Lenny Kravitz. You did? Yeah. I was there both, both, both shows. Both. I was there. How come I, I, don't, think I don't remember? I was there. I don't know. Dion was there too. Well, I don't I didn't see you. You know who I was? I was up. You know who I was? I was. Oh, that, you know what? I now I remember. Yes, yes, yes. You were in the VIP section. Exactly. I was with the common folks. <laughs> 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 no, That's what that is. Okay, I know. No, you know what happened? That was the first night I was there. Because it was two nights. Yeah, because Dance Theater of Harlem. Right. Well, I don't, I don't, I, that's what it was a fundraiser for the dance theater of the Harlem. Was it? Okay. I don't right. know. All I know because the of first because night. Of, yeah. Okay. Because of my stature. Yes. Yes. Of course. <laughs> you deserve because you were also get you got VIP status when they did that album release party at the Limelight in that, 1991. Yes. Because you were like you you were just let you put us in our place. And look, you scrubs are going to the regular thing. <laughs> I'm going to the VIP thing with chocolate covered strawberries. I said, well, excuse the hell out of me. Okay, I don't have no recollection of that. <laughs> let me go back to this particular day. Let me go back to this thing, right? Yeah, no, okay, that's right. I, I do remember. But that, what right. it is, I was upstairs now. Now right. I was upstairs with Vernon Reed and Peter Boshan, right? This was so weird. Oh, you were upstairs uh, in that section with them. Yeah, because you know the the, the second night. Vernon Reed I actually mean, Let me finish the story. Okay. Let me finish the story. <laughs> People, these youngins always trying to jump the, the queue. I'm working on so, it. So, so Vernon was, was um, 
Vernon was was not beefing, but you know, said to Peter said because you know Vernon you know, get premiums from the station, you know, because they listen. Everybody in New York listen. Mm -hmm. People in the know listen to the station. And so so you know Peter Boshan always had some good you know premiums. Mm -hmm. So Vernon, Vernon was talking about, hey man, I didn't get my premiums. Uh -oh. Well, you know, da 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 da. <laughs> okay. So they but then they started to have this some sort of weird musician talk. Mm -hmm. Now if you can you can imagine. Like Vernon's on one side, Peter's on the other side, and I'm in the middle. And they start talking this musician talk, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And you know, because Peter know all about this, whatever. And I said, "Excuse me, fellas, I just excreted myself because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they were saying." Okay. Right? <laughs> the only time that ever happened to me like that was with uh, was with uh, uh, with Craig Harris and this other musician. It doesn't matter. But that so, so Vernon saw the shoot from there. Mm -hmm. The next night he played. Right. I was there so too. I knew I, I knew he was going was going to play, you know. And uh, you know they played they got on Mary Don't You Weep, Weep. Ah. and they no party with like a, 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 a salt and pepper song. None of your business. Now here's the funny thing: without going into details, we actually played that on the air, right? Mm -hmm. And this woman heard it, and she called up the station like I don't know after like six months after, and she was like, look. I heard you play that. I went to every record store I know. <laughs> I was like, no. And he said, uh, uh, no, Mary, don't you mean? With Prince and Lenny, I heard it on the radio. <laughs> she was adamant. I know they must oh, have God. thrown out of several stores. You know what I'm saying? Man. I heard it. I heard it on the radio. That was one of those moments. It's like, oh. You know the power of radio. That is the power of radio, the power of music. The power of the boys and girls of the new book. That's what it is, bro. You know, this, this is why this is such what, a special release. What did I write? You know, because uh, with the, because I thought to myself, "Rebirth of the Flesh," the girls and the boys, the new boogie, new boogie groove, and it's like we got our name from this song, and this is the first time they are releasing the song officially. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you something else. It has an extra lyric in there. Uh -huh. that none of the other versions had. So it was like, the people who went deep, okay, they went deep. Mm. I gotta be careful what I say, because I actually am friends with one of the guys okay, we, we, who we, works we, in the vault. We, 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 we can stop there. We know, we know, <laughs> we know our, our tentacles. Yeah, are, yes, are, yes, they go thing. deep. It's like, it's, sometimes I always, sometimes I think, I said, what have I wrought? And the, here's the thing about the Boys and Girls New Blue, from the beginning, I'm told for the first time, I, I, I said, I think I tell people this all the time. What happened was I was, I was married to CT3's, you know, mm -hmm. mother. Mm -hmm. And I, that's a whole other story. I married her only because she had three kids and I didn't want to be one of them dumb dudes mm -hmm. that came through just, you know, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, right, right, right. so it, I want to get into the point. But, but they, were, they were like 16 and, they, and, and, and I'm at the station. And so, I, you know, they were at that age where, you know, mm -hmm. you could go a bunch of ways. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, right, right, they're right. sort of really suburban kids, but they're not suburban mm -hmm. kids. They're urban kids, but they're not, you know. So I just, I just, you know, off the cuff, like, you know how I always do. You know, mm -hmm. But what do you, what would you all want to do, you know? And so they said, do a Prince special. As soon as they said that, of course, I knew who Prince was and everything like that. Mm -hmm. My brain went like, B-A-I, Prince. Mm -hmm. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> I really got, I really, I can, I got my work cut out for me to try to, I mean, I can get the airtime, but my got my work cut out for me to get all these old white fogies <laughs> to understand what's, you know, what, what this is all about. But that's what I'm trying to say from the very beginning, I knew that it was like a special, a special situation. I, I can't even, I don't even know the word for it, I, 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 I would say it. So there's a bunch of pictures I'm going to go through so people, unless you, if you want this, you got to buy it yourself, Don, if yeah. you want to see the pictures. That's the thing. I say, it's one thing for YouTube to have the music, but if you want oh, this man. book and you want the DVD, oh. which we're going to get into, you have Ooh, to buy man, this. Look at this thing. Look yeah, they went, they went nuts with the pictures. Lyrics. Oh, oh this is nice. You know, it's, this is interesting thing. Oh, that's what it is. You know what it is? They actually got his actual handwritten right. lyrics from the vault, not even what they transcribed, what he wrote down. Yep, slow love, yep. I hate, I have to admit this, when I first heard the album, I like slow love more than Adore. I don't know what's wrong with me, but now Adore is like his, one of his all time. Yeah, but you know, I think his people do, you, you, you know what you used to always have with, no, you used to do this to me all the time. Me? And, and the people, you, I think you and somebody else used to do it all the time. They would say it was almost like they waited. Said, "Okay, 
which one is Anthony going to say? Because I know he's not going to say what everybody else is going to say. So you always, it's, true. it's almost, it's almost like you were just waiting to say. This is true. It's, it's like you see somebody, somebody come along, they say, okay, here's, here's our test case. Or, or you say, look, I bet you, I told you this guy is going to tell you some you really know? wax up. You watch, you watch, come on, you watch. Come on, let's ask him, you know. Hey, <laughs> so, hey Mikey, he likes it. Yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> but here's the thing. There's this um, one of my favorite playwrights, George Bernard Shaw, which fall out of favor with people because he was a eugenicist, but we don't get into all that stuff. Um, but he said, you can tell a man by his letters. This is interesting because mm -hmm. remember, words, you know, your songs, your letters, but his handwriting right. is very important. I, I suppose there's just, this should be a whole industry. There's probably somebody, I'm sure there's somebody, some some YouTube channel, somebody, somebody says, yeah, let's do a handwriting analysis. Mm -hmm. And somebody's probably doing some sort of handwriting analysis. Somewhere, the big tall wall. Yeah, there's two versions on that. Never okay. heard of it. You heard the song. You heard one of the songs. One of the versions. The other version, we we hadn't heard before. Well, do they have forever in my life? You know. Oh yes. Do, do they know. have forever in my life? Okay. Let me they have that. two versions. They have the album version. You see, uh, now not to get too personal, but they have the version you heard. And the version, there's an early vocal version. See, he wrote that for Susanna Melvorn, who was his fiance at the time. Oh, yeah. Now, when they were in lovey-dovey mode, yeah. right, he had a certain version. Mm. The version he put out was the after we broke up mode. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to the difference. Okay. <laughs> Forever in my life, huh? Well, you lasted about six months, okay? <laughs> that's, that's, that's almost like, you know, with Marvin Gaye and with... with uh, Anna? Yeah, with, well, with, with, no, no, not... Yes. Well, no, yeah. Here, no, my no, dear. No, 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 that's something else. That's his wife. <laughs> when he went into... When he, when he did... Um, what's this? this um, the, Jan? Yes, Jan, but what's that album? What's the album? Um, gosh, man, what am I... This, 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 it's this, it's this, like this, After this, Let's Get It On? No, not... Let, Yes, after let's get you on the, the first album after the one that sold the one seventy six the, the one with that was his album yeah, the, the one um, the one with all the sex stuff in it not you know with the uh, uh, what am I talking about sex why am I blanking on this man I must be and it's after let's get it on right it's right, it's right after no no let's get it on that's it the let's, let's get, get it on, on album right, okay. but the let's get it on album was supposed to be a follow up to um, to what's the name. To uh, what's going on? No, what's going on? That's the album. I get. No, what's going on? Right. Then they had the other album. Then let's you're the man. No, no, no. You're the man is a single. No, I gave you the album, bro. Okay, yeah, I, listen, listen, listen. Yeah, that's the that's, album. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying something else. <laughs> that's what I'm saying else. This, this, this. Uh, what's going on? Right. The next, album, the next official album after that is Let's Get It On. Well, let's Get It On. Right. But Let's Get It On when they went to the studio is supposed to be a, let's call it a serious album. He saw Jan. And they rearranged the whole Hold thing up. to this whole love album. Right. That's what the story is about that. Was. So you th I thought that, okay, he did what's going on. Then he did the You're the Man album, which that, I gave that just came that's out. Right, but that but never the, came out. They were like, no, 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 no. This is now, let's, let's do, let's get back. Cause that's right. Barry Gordy, okay, hold on. This is the DVD. Okay. New Year's Eve, 1987. The last performance of the Sign of the Times show with Miles, you know who. Davis. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch. Let this me tell you right something. Now. They did a. Um, I'm gonna watch this right now. They, and this is this is the proper album, and one of these is the B sides and remixes, and three of them. These three are the outtakes, and this is another live concert, June twentieth, nineteen eighty. So from Utrecht. Oh man, this man. It's just something else, bro. I, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, like I said, it's like trying to drink the ocean. Yeah. I'm yeah. taking sips. Well, okay. Sip or not, I'm going up. I'm going, I, have, I have nothing else to do today. That's, that, right that's it's going to take more on. than a day. I'm going right away and putting this on. They, that is right there. Is 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 history. I'm putting this one on right it's now. It's history. And the I'm whole show, right he does now. a version of a door. Miles comes on in the last half an. It's because what happened is, well, you know, we're not going into too many details. We actually played some of the show around 1999. We did a show around 1999, mm -hmm. and we played. Like the second half of the show, Old Lang Syne going into Purple yeah. Rain, and then we played the Miles Davis um, Prince part. Because not only that, can I play with you an audio? The only thing that they did to get, well, one of the few things they did together, not in the same studio, Prince wrote the song, sent it to Miles, Miles put his stuff on it. Can I play with you on it? And it seems longer. 
Mm-hmm. All right. But this right here, the long story short, you're going to take your time. This right here is one of the good. If I call it the greatest Prince release, I'm not hyping it. Yeah. Well, the only thing I have to say, I have to say this way, forgive me, but uh, thank you, my son. I, it, I, I, it, I, look, I let me tell you something, bro. I all this, this is a historic you know? moment. That's like, you got to have this. It goes back. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, I got you. And if they continue with stuff like this, this is right there. It's one of the greatest laces you're going to have. Well, anyway, by the way, that's what I think, because mm-hmm. I know uh, lace has part of my collection. I, figured, I have your vinyl. You, that's all I need to know. Okay, yeah, but no, you, but no, I, no. I wasn't going to hold on to this. No, 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 no. You, no, you no, needed no. to have this. No, no, you listen to what I'm saying. Listen mm-hmm. to what I'm saying. You have to understand. You know me. I, I, I have, uh, it, it, the world is my home. <laughs> I have no storage places. I have no, my, so ride, my, my writings are in Miss. Missouri. So good. You're a world traveler. <laughs> I don't know what I have down the Unfortunately, South you got stuck in this country, so they're oh, not going to let you out for the night until there's a vaccine. You know. And I, you know, I ain't going to take the vaccine either. You can forget that. But what I'm trying to say, no, I was hoping that you had the vinyl. Yeah, hey, I have the vinyl. No, no, because I know I have to have people that, that, that trust me. For, for, as far as I'm concerned, you owned, I gave the, you owned the I vinyl. You that's, that's, that's no thing. Lace has the CDs, CDs right. which is fine with me. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, doesn't, bothers me well that's not the quality that's who i that's who i would try, try to say you know you are you know yeah it's, you're, a, it's you're, a prince thing yeah it's now a, the vinyl edition has 13 lps plus the dvd that thing is like you think this is big just take this and just why just fatten it up mm. that's the vinyl but what's one. the what 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 does the what does the what does the vinyl what same does, thing same thing exactly yeah, they, they, just they just stretch it out over yeah, the vinyl yeah this is for people again. These for this is for people who got money and have a big house and all the rest. I of guess, I guess because to me it was like that's kind of big right there. My boy ordered it and he said, "Wait a minute, did I order the vinyl?" I said, "Open it, bro. You see what it is. Man. You think you ordered the vinyl? The vinyl is, Man. it's like Man. the same, and then it's Man. like this thick." Yeah. Nah, but I really appreciate this. Man, and yeah, I, got, I, and it's I, a prince that you got to spread the love, bro. Yeah. Hey. In fact, they got to, uh, October twenty fourth. They're having a special record store day, mm. and they're releasing colored vinyl of the Sign of the Times album. Colored vinyl? Woo, yeah, like what? Peach and something. Yeah, well, that, those, whatever. Those, were, those are those fans. Again, they, right. they, there's so, so many tears, and they, they are fans who have so much money. Because remember, we're, we're black people in America. That want to buy all the different our, parts our, of Our wealth right. is not the same wealth as yeah, they think. Yeah, this thing wealth. is not that. Plus, no, I don't mean to be uh, a, 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 a downer, but... I can't take it with me. I want to get all them different vinyls. <laughs> I don't need every, you know, I just yeah. need something to give me some man, enjoyment. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And that's about it. That's it, man. The Blackity Black album. In fact, I pulled out the album the other day. Now, for an album, it's cool. And it's historic and everything because I told somebody this story. When the thing was just, I think it was because when he does the concert, earlier in the month, December, he canceled the Black album. So at that time, it didn't have that effect. So I remember I was walking down Carmine Street. I told somebody this story. Carmine Street, and I had to go somewhere, but when the corner of my eye, I saw they had a little picture of Prince in the window, and it said Black Album, and I called you at That's the right. station. I, and you were like, what? what? And you came right, right down, down. I, without hesitation. picked up the album, and went back to the station and played it on, on the, the air. Because I think I was on in the afternoon. Right. Yeah. I said, Anthony, blah, 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 blah. You said, what? Came right down, and got I it. Jumped on that train. It on I went right down right, there. Right, right, Man, right. this this is this is pre cell phone days too, right? This was, yeah, yeah, it was this, 1988. That this was the yeah. telephone. I'm yeah, like, yeah, I did huh? the whole quarter thing, whatever. I was there, I was lickety like, split. Yeah, and I was on it. It must have been it must have been a Wednesday morning or something like that. I it? guess it was. It was definitely the spring of '88. All I know is that because I, I I I remember that. Right. I came and I slapped right, that right, sucker right, right on. <laughs> right on, immediately. <laughs> In fact, they had side two first before, before side one. It's one of those things where it slipped out, yeah. and then that's the legend yeah. began, and then boom. It's like, yeah. I, thought, I always remember that story. I, remember, I can't remember the exact name of the store, but I know it was on Carmine Street. They had, what the picture had, looked they had, like. They had two or three of them like they that. Had, so well, we, used to, we used to do a uh, record run. Me and the boys yeah. used to go down to the village and hit like different stores. Nowadays, everything is like, Get a file, transfer a file. Yeah. Not that they, I don't really think they have bootleg vinyl mm. as much as, uh, but you know, the vinyl is for the collectors. Well, you know, back, like back in the day, it was interesting because, it's so interesting because, remember, the most bootleg person up to that point 
was Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix, right. But then Prince, oh, as far as Black Album in, just in, blew in, it open. In the annals of, but in the annals of musical history, what's going to happen? The person with the most, I don't know how to call it, the most stuff. Right. The big, the person with the biggest vault. Right. I don't think Stevie. I don't think Stevie is going to. I don't know. Vault. It's funny you mention that so because when, okay. when, um, when Prince passed, mm -hmm. and Spike Lee, and I think at the time the you know the word got out that Prince did not have a will. And he wasn't married, and he didn't have any children. So that's a whole other story. So apparently Spike Lee called Stevie the day or whatever, around the time that Prince died. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Stevie, please tell me you got your house in order, all right? Now, I think he probably does, mm -hmm. but at the same time, Stevie's married, and he has kids. A so, lot of kids. A lot of kids. So. He, he, that's taken care of because if Prince had had a kid then everything would have gone to the kid yeah, or he was married we go to the thing now his family has been named heirs but because he wasn't didn't legally do anything it's kind of the probate you know has well, got their hands in, in there in my, Jimmy Hendrix in, too in my, in my estimation and I can't speak because I'm not legal in that mm -hmm. that's the best thing what because if you had a child and that's one person going through or even a wife that that's not grooving with you. That doesn't. That's not protected of you. Mm -hmm. We don't know what that would happen. It, I, you know, I'm not. I don't know what's the intrigue with the with the with the, with the family right now. Yeah, they've been named heirs, but they're not able to get any profits. And you see, that's a big thing of like he worked a long time to get his legacy together. And there's a commentator who reminds me of you sometimes, Van Jones who was working with Prince. And, you know, some of the legal people that would bring it up, it's almost like Prince did not want to come to terms with his mortality. Yeah, sure. So he I, never I, wanted yeah, to that's right, that's talk, right. but it's bad form, bro. No, I know. It's bad I, I, form it not to have your business together. That's right. Put it in a trust or something the so that the government better. can't... That's right. Right. I, I, or, or some record company or whatever. whatever. Uh, it's, yeah. the Warner Brothers called Paisley Park 20 times the day he died. Mm -hmm. 20 times. I don't mean to be too conspiratorial. Yep. The guy who's in charge of the vault right now came from Warner Brothers. Oh, Lord. Anyway, the <laughs> point, uh, let me put it this way. You know, you know how I roll. Mm -hmm. I actually, I, I, unlike some people, I actually believe in higher powers. I believe in vibration. If, if you want to put it in a short way, I believe in God, but I believe in the creator. Right. And I believe things happen the way they're supposed to happen. It, you know so what? That's all Prince I'm being the, what he is, and some people, and some people, the new Prince said, if you really knew Prince, you knew that this is how he rolls. That's right. That's he right. did, when he was married to his first wife, Maite, she did bring up, what if something happens to you? And he apparently told her, no, I, I went and took care of a will. Whether he did or not, because yeah. she was young. Yeah. And he was one thing we know from the beginning. He was always a guy who wanted to be in control. And God bless him. You've earned that right. But, you know, it could be worse. Because uh, Jimi Hendrix with I, nothing, I, it took him like... 25 years for his family to get I, I think I think he was lying to this all I'm trying I, to I, I, You know, I didn't want to say that. Because she didn't lying. see anything legal. She just you know was why? a young girl. Because I would have did the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. all I... I can't yeah, go yeah, by yeah. what he would do. I understand. Me, I would have did the yeah, same thing. Yeah, I, I took care of it. Yeah, certain, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a certain weird mentality. I, I, I thought the that, same you know, thing. The, 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 it's this vibration mentality. I thought the same thing. So anyway, anyway we're Enjoy. By, by train. So that's that's appropriate, I guess. We fly into all the trains. It's in New York. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I really appreciate it. I'm going... I'm Right now, I'm going to... You're going to begin your journey. I'm, I'm, I don't know if you're going to finish it tonight, oh, but no, you're no, going to begin no, your I journey. Do, uh, I got stuff to do. I got to go down to Virginia. What are you so, leaving to Virginia? Um, I'm going to Virginia on, on Wednesday. Okay. And I'm How doing some, I'm, I'm be doing a lot of reading. So I don't know. I might leave this up here because I'm coming back up here. Right. So I might just leave this here and just wait till I come back to continue it's whatever I do. It's yours to do yeah. what you will. Like that. So we'll it's, see uh, it's one of those things you got to spread the love. You know, because I'm still going through mine. I'm taking, you know, I'm taking my time. I'm taking my time. I might have People to say, get... you always eat so slow because I'm enjoying it. <laughs> well, what I might have to do also <laughs> is uh, get some sort of thing to go back to South Africa. I want to bring some stuff to South Africa, but mm -hmm. I don't really want. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do right now. Well, OK, I don't I don't mean to be you know. rough. But once I gave it to you, how you deal with it? That's yeah, on you. Yeah, I got you, man. Because look, I mean. 
you could listen to YouTube and get the music, but you can't get the book and the DVD. They put the, the estate, put the DVD up for like a month for promotional purposes, the, the concept, but then they took it down. Well, you're right. Well, God bless them. They did it right. No, they that's did it what right. you're supposed to do. That's right? supposed to, this day and age, you get it up there. Yeah, just and plus, it, it'll degrade on YouTube eventually, whatever It will. You, so. And this actually looks, because I, I mean, just seeing the whole thing, you got the impression it was historic. Yeah. And when I finally got it, it was actually clear. And I'm like, wow, it's like, that, 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 that con this constant, it's, 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 it's nothing less than historic. Yeah. Miles made it historic. Well, yeah. Miles made it even more historic. Yeah. So, but, you know, that's it. This is it. Yeah, that was a listing of everything. That's yeah. like magnanimous. So, so we, it will end, I'll end this video with this. Just show it a bat. Go get it. Thanks, man. All right. Appreciate it. Later.